And there they are. Hey, good morning to you from Canyonlands National Park. Today we're in Horseshoe Canyon on the third day of an incredible string of adventures. I spent the last couple days on the High Spur, which is past Hans Flat Ranger Station in the middle of nowhere and somewhat beyond. So today we are kind of chilling out and we are going to check out some incredible American history. And I am talking about the original history not just the cowboys, but also the Indians. And I'm not even sure you can call them that. It goes all the way back to more or less prehistoric times. And the paleo Indians who were hunting mammoths and mastodons, I think we'll even see a, uh, a dinosaur track on this adventure. So heading on down the canyon now, really looking forward to this and feeling super philosophical today after having some rather exciting experiences deep within the canyons, particularly one uh, in Big Spring Canyon where I had to exhale just to move through the incredibly narrow slot. Because my chest is literally getting squoze from both sides. All right, signing off. Here's a view this way though. And I began to ask myself, what am I doing here? And strangely, I actually came up with some pretty good answers. So we're going to talk about that a little bit as we talk about our own evolution and the history of this area. We'll see you down there. So this must have been a pressurized line that pumped water from way down there. God, I don't know how they get that much pressure, but really, really cool. Jeez. So as many of you know, kind of the trek planner, desert drifter, petroglyph hunter deal has been super popular on YouTube and showing up on my feed a lot. Well, let me mention the POV channel as well. That has been super popular. And I don't know if these are original discoveries or not. I think some of them are, and I know some of them aren't. And I totally get it. It's not that easy to come up with new exciting stuff like that, not without any help at all. But that said, I'm taking the help. And I am going to one of the greatest sites in North America. I would like to show you the best of what I can find in my neighborhood, which also happens to be in a place where I've done tons of extreme adventures and they've been incredibly cool. So hopefully you'll enjoy checking some of that stuff out too, but today is gonna to be a little bit more of a cerebral adventure. this and wow don't want to screw up here and that's down horseshoe canyon that way
Apparently the lizards appreciate the trail as well. We are getting near the bottom of Horseshoe Canyon now. Really a beautiful place in and of itself. Just the hike without the petroglyphs, awesome. Yeah. And here's the bottom of the canyon right here. So beautiful place. So I kind of wanted to make this trip into something that really is about the adventure zone and um, how it relates to our past. So I'm gonna try to do that as articulately as I can, although that is not my strong point. I am relatively educated and have been curious about this lately. This particularly for me is the evolution of, of humans. And generally, humans have been selected for, in the Darwin sense of the word, for being risk takers. They were generally more successful. You know, that's, that's kind of what I live by, and I'm a huge risk taker, if you didn't know, maybe even to the foolish point. I kind of wonder why I do these things. There was a time, day before yesterday, deep in that slot, in a really dangerous place, all alone, and after I got out of there and had a chance to think about it, I started to wonder, what am I doing here, and why am I doing this? And I think it goes right back to the ancestral tendency to want to be a risk taker. And actually there was sexual selection forces that would favor risk takers. So they were actually the ones getting to breed and creating more risk takers like myself. So I also think just the challenge of survival in a really rough environment probably selects for risk takers and those who are willing to take chances in order to improve their chances for survival. So interesting stuff, but I think that's kind of where that instinct, even in modern day when we don't need to take any risks at all, really, we do anyway. So keep that in mind as we learn more about the things to come. And here's our first clue about why these ancient peoples came here in the first place. And I'm sure it had everything to do with it. Well, here we are at the first set of pictographs, and this is crazy. Obviously, they don't want you going here, but they're way up there, and it has to be erosion here. That is, well, there is one little ledge, but it's not enough to paint all that. Wow, that is way up there. And this is the whole scene. Definitely impressive. Check those out. Carl Decker would like to present the Horseshoe Gallery. And that's right there behind me. And it's pretty darn high up there. Hopefully you can gauge that. Not as high as the High Gallery, but still way up there. So this is the second of many petroglyphs. And I just wanted to show you this shot because I guess erosion has eaten this away this much since these were created. Although there is a ledge there they could have been painting up there, but I kind of doubt it. Or it might be a combination of the two. You never know for sure. That's my guess. So here's another sign and reason why the ancestral people used to live here. I guess that's a little deer. This is an alcove, that's for sure. 
And somewhere in here are the pictographs. I'm not sure what those signs meant. I don't think it meant don't go here because there's all these protective gates here around the pictographs. Wow. Even this is kind of crazy. But I believe that truly is a cowboy signature. So interesting. Here's the rest. And there's a lot. Lots of hunter type information, I think, on here, which is interesting. Big figures with horns, which probably means the Indians related to their prey. So this is the alcove gallery. And it is interesting how there's lots of pictures of deer and hunters with horns. And I'm just gonna throw out there that the revered person in one of these tribes probably was a great hunter. And I also noticed there really isn't any sign of kind of warfare or anything like that. So I'm guessing they were relatively peaceful or at least not very respectful of battle or any of the sort, just because I've never really seen any kind of combat scene. So not sure what that means, but that's kind of my take. And it was really all about just gathering the food. But here it is. And this great gallery is amazing. And that's straight up and wow, really up. That's from a burrow from the cowboys, I would imagine, carrying their stuff. I actually saw a wild burrow yesterday. Well, I would say the alcove was at least as cool as the geographs themselves. And speaking of alcoves, I'm in another one now. This whole Horseshoe Canyon has been just amazing. Check that out. A really cool canyon all by itself. But there is water. That is pretty scarce around here. You can see all the vegetation and the cottonwood trees and stuff like that. Lots of birds too. And there they are. Wow. Very cool. So here we are at the Great Gallery. Lots of cool stuff. And again, all this stuff is way up high on the wall. And I know before I had said, wow, it must have been erosion or blah, blah, blah. And, you know, maybe simply they used ladders too. They could have made ladders out of twine and logs. So that's definitely another possibility. But uh, it's up there, always on a cliff. Maybe they wanted to protect it from what I'm not sure. Always interesting and always under these huge overhangs. So I guess that has to be a protection thing. And they may have just resided under some of these as well. Well, obviously they did, like Mesa Verde and such. Again, mysteries of the past that we may never know. They all look heavily adorned and generally large chested. I think that might mean something. They had a lot of reverence for certain members. So maybe this is like a royal family or colony. And yeah, you can see the little workers and a herd of animals down below. Oh, this is the main great gallery here on the right. 
there is this one kind of mysterious one right here. I don't know why he would be in such a different place. And there's some other small ones down to the right here. Kind of another mystery that we'll probably never know. Archangel with his followers, perhaps. Okay, well, we have reached our last stop and it is kind of excellent timing here because the people are just starting to show up. Nice benches here as well. So great place to rest. There's actually even water right below here, which is another reason the petroglyphs are probably here. But anyway, I do actually think they're called pictographs. I forget the difference. One's etched and one's painted. But here come all the people right now. So, great timing. Bye, great gallery. Just for scale, there's people, and there's the pictographs in relationship. So these are by far the biggest I have ever seen. And after discussing it with the, the other people around, it really makes me feel like this is a religious site. There's always a prominent figure amongst smaller, unidentifiable figures. The prominent figures are always adorned. Bunch more deer tracks right there. Which brings me to an interesting conversation I had with the cool people that I met. And that is why would you come to this inhospitable canyon, super hard to navigate and deal with? You know, why would you do that at all? And the reason I came up with was because of the water. And there aren't many good places to go in the desert for water, but a canyon is one of them. So I think one of the main attractions to living in a canyon was in order to funnel prey into the area and know exactly where that prey is going to be because another kid said oh well why wouldn't you just want to live on the green river and there's tons of water and it's great and da 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 and he's right there is and it's easier living in a way but in another way it's not that water's not that clean and the prey have all kinds of places to go to find water so just more interesting speculation on why these canyons were so special to the ancient people and i think that's the reason Again, just my own speculation, but I think it's a pretty good guess. Great little adventure. And I have actually stripped down here just to my little tights. And please don't judge. I just want to be comfortable. Those pants were hot. But I also met a bunch of really cool people. And they were from Salt Lake. And I assume relatively religious. And while I'm not a religious person, I have a lot of respect for religion and the civic responsibility that it brings. You know, it's something that our society has been losing and it has been important since the beginning of time. That great gallery to me was a tribute to some of the greatest leaders of that time. And it seems fairly obvious they were all cloaked in super fancy stuff, adorned. And I assume that they all had no arms just because they hadn't invented sleeves yet. But, um, be good to each other. There's only one world and we're going to have to share it. And civil responsibility has been an important issue since the beginning of humanity. And hopefully it will continue to be a strong factor in kind of forming our society and helping us get along and share this beautiful world, which I'm so excited to explore. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the trip as well. So kind of different for me and kind of like to say, I would like to continue doing a real broad variety of things. Just as we go into the future, I've done a, more biking, some floating, hiking, climbing, mountains, deserts, canyons. And hopefully you guys find that interesting. If there's any other cool ideas you have for me on sweet stuff that I should do and check out, I always appreciate it as well as your comments in general. So thank you for coming. 
and we will see you on the next adventure where we'll be going big. Take care.